My father was an artist, and I think that's where I first got the idea that I wanted to be an artist too. Dad went to, uh, I think it was a two-year program at the Walker Art Center at the time. And he gave me drawing lessons and painting lessons growing up. Uh, he did paintings. Uh, he was a great cartoonist, too. I have a lot of his artwork uh, here with me at the house and in the studio. I even have his uh, sketchbooks that he did when he was in the Army. It's this wonderful collection of uh, drawings that he did of his Army buddies just hanging around the barracks. It wasn't, you know, any surprise when I told him, well, I think I want to try to be an artist. You know, anyone could see that coming because I was always drawing and I was talking about it a lot. And he said, well, you've chosen a difficult career, but you deserve a chance to make it a success. So he, you know, he was supportive of the effort and he understood why I wanted to do it. So uh, no, no one tried to talk me out of it, which is good. And no one could have to be honest with you, but it's better that no one tried. <laughs> I found um, the Atelier Le Sur was just starting up that fall, and this was uh, something very different. It was a workshop style school uh, where you were drawing and painting from life every day, all day, under the instruction of professional artists, and uh, it turned out to be just what I was looking for. I went on to become an instructor at the Atelier for several more years, which worked out wonderfully. So, of course, I love going to museums. And I started to get this idea that it would be interesting to do in a, you know, a scene of the interior of a museum. Um, so I did one starting in about, I think, 2000, with people walking around looking at paintings. And then I get to do people in contemporary dress. It's a modern scene. But I get my, my love of the old paintings in there. So I've got essentially little portraits of all these other paintings within my painting and it's sort of an interesting little comment on how the people themselves have become the subject of the artist. I had a lot of fun with it so now I've done a whole series of them. Uh, in different museums I've done the one here, I've done the Metropolitan, I've done the National Gallery uh, in London. So it's, it's been great just the challenge of showing people looking at beautiful art. They chose to give me a painting, Steve did, that's of a pool hall. And again, that's meaningful to me, both because of the quality and nature of the painting, but also because my father grew up working in a pool hall as a young man in Eveleth, Minnesota. I like to play billiards. And so uh, I thought, well, this would actually be uh, a, a pretty good scene to do because you've got this interesting lighting with the, with the one lamp above the pool table. It's usually in a sort of a darkly lit bar. And you've got uh, guys standing around in interesting poses or when they're bending down to take the shot. And then they lean into the light and then they stand up away from the table and they're back out of the light again. So it's very dramatic. I think Rembrandt would have loved the subject. If he, if he had it to paint, I think he would have painted it. I started to uh, gravitate towards compositions that had more and more um, it's a symmetry. It's not, not exact symmetry, but it's close. It gave the everyday subjects I was doing a bit more of a monumentality about it. Like when you think of the old church altar pieces, a lot of times there, the compositions were very symmetrical. And I like bringing in that type of composition into a modern work and um, it, it gave a, a, a bigness to it and uh, sort of enhanced the idea somehow. Uh, so I, I ended up using it quite a bit. It's, 
you know, where you've got the lines generally sort of converging into the center, but not exactly. It's a little bit off. I don't want it too formal because then it becomes um, too static and obvious. So, yeah, it's just something I, I gravitated toward more and more because it, it just worked for the subjects I was doing. Well, generally, you know, a portrait is you're trying to capture, you know, an image of that person that's, that's more than just a momentary thing, more than something that the camera would, would capture. That, that's really what a good portrait is, it captures something more than what a photograph will give you. I met Steve, liked what he was doing, I enjoyed the sitting process, and you know, a portrait is really not for my purpose, but it's the next generation, you know, trying to capture something. And that's why you do it, so that you preserve something. And it's, you know, it's not a photograph, it's not a recording, it captures the essence of the personality. I always feel just so grateful and so lucky and uh, fortunately I was able to do just what I wanted to do. So yeah, very lucky. <laughs>